hot topics. Leading edge techniques and tackle designed to put more fish in your boat. Brought to you by Johnsonville. The Johnsonville Brats Hot Topic of the Week is going to deal with the choice of outboards. We're going to go to Keith Cavias and he's going to give us all kinds of tips on your cho choice of outboards for your fishing needs. Outboard technology is changing for all of us. And one of the main reasons it is, is this sticker right here, the ultra low emission sticker. And what that's meant is that outboard manufacturers have had to change their technology so that less emissions are, putting into, are being put into the environment. Well, that's a good thing for all of us. But the other thing that's happened is, is because they've had to change things, they've actually made the performance of the engines better while they were reducing the emissions. Let's start over here with the Optimax. The Optimax, like I said, is a two-stroke engine, but it uses direct fuel injection, good fuel economy. This is going to be one of your best fuel economy technologies. The second thing it's going to mean is that the engine is going to be a little bit lighter. So for the mid-size boat, the 16, 17, 18 footers, an Optimax is going to be a great choice. It still, though, has the two-stroke capability of the, the good low-end uh, speed. It's got a lot of power at low end, gets you up on plane and gets you going quick. The one disadvantage of two-stroke is, just like two-strokes have always been, is that you're going to have to put some oil into the reservoir. So that's the, the DFI, the Optimax, two-stroke Optimax. A four-stroke as many people know, is a much cleaner running engine. It's a smoother running engine, so a lot of times what this engine is going to be good for, especially in my uh, applications, is going to be a kicker style engine. Uh, kickers, you know, you want them to be quiet, you want them to be uh, real smooth running so you aren't spooking the fish. You also want them to idle down and go real slow. So four stroke is a good technology. And then last and certainly not least, you've got the ultimate technology and that's the Verado. Uh, it is a four stroke, but it has what I would call Porsche-like performance. And what I mean by that is this is an engine that was built from the ground up by Mercury to take advantage of things like supercharging, adding a lot more air into the system, see the gas burns more efficiently, but it also gives you great low end torque. I mean, this is an engine you don't have to worry about getting up on plane quickly. It's just got unbelievable torque. But it's got other features like uh, uh, digital throttle on it. It's got uh, electronic steering on it. It's just, like I said, a Porsche-like qualities to it. It is a four-stroke. You don't have to add oil to it, but it does have that unbelievable performance. All right. Look at that fat little guy. Yeah.